Happy Wednesday, friends. Welcome to Drive Time with Smashbee. It's been a really long time since I've done a video like this, but there have been some questions piling up on my blog, people asking me to cover certain topics, and I haven't been able to sit at a computer long enough, free from distractions, to answer them. And since I drive around a lot, we're bringing back the drive time. Topic of the day, jealousy in the gym. How can I be less jealous of other people, and how can I have jealous people around me impact me less. First, what's jealousy? Jealousy is having or showing envy for someone else based on their accomplishments and their advantages. Please note, please know, please realize that it does not make sense to spend a single ounce of your energy worrying about someone or something that you have no control over. Someone's genetics, someone's training, someone's rest, hydration, and nutrition, someone's stress level inside and outside of the gym, you can't control it. So don't worry about it at all. What you can control is yourself, your own training and rest and recovery and nutrition. If you know you're doing those things well, it's just a matter of time. This CrossFit thing of ours is a marathon, not a sprint. So as long as you've got good and reasonable goals, you'll be okay, you gotta stick the course. If you don't, find a good coach or a training partner or a mentor or someone that can help you to help you set those reasonable goals so you can know that you're on the right path to success. It's really, really fun to be surrounded by people who help encourage and uplift one another. In fact, that's most of our goals in the gym, to create that culture of love and encouragement. If you're that person that's bringing everyone down, slowly but surely your personal circle is gonna spread out. People wanna be surrounded by positive and uplifting people. So, if you're having a hard time with jealousy, try your best to flip that switch in your brain and say, no matter what happens, I'm gonna find the positive in this. Your training partner lifted more than you, just be excited for them. Imagine if you finally hit a PR and you looked over and someone was scowling. What a buzzkill. Don't be that buzzkill. Instead, go, all right, I got another number to chase, let's go proud of you. Instead of making excuses, oh, they shaved reps, or they didn't squat low enough, or stand up all the way, that's putting all the ownership on someone else. Who cares what they did or didn't do? If someone's excited, be excited for them. All you can control is yourself. If you need to find a distraction, find that new member at the gym, someone who's still got that big wide-eyed look in their face, super excited about CrossFit, and be their mentor, and be excited for them, and show them the ropes on a lot of things. Right, That's the stuff that we can control. So few people out there have a living made out of CrossFit. So few people make money doing the sport. So what does that mean? At the end of the day, we're just in the gym to look better naked and to be less fat. Why would you stress out over issues that you can't control and not be excited about being in the gym? It should be a fun place. That's my advice. Find a way to channel your energy into something positive. Don't let all of these external forces impact who you are and why you do what you do. If I can help you in any way, let me know, please. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Do you agree? Do you not agree? And then let's keep this conversation going. Be positive. The gym's supposed to be a fun place. Look around and exude the energy you want to attract. Be supportive. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Jealousy sucks. Optimism is awesome. Happy Wednesday.